Today I'm going to talk about quadratics, or otherwise known as parabolas. Parabolas are the U-shape that you see on a graph by using y equals x squared. You see parabolas everywhere, like roller coasters, rainbows, and even twice on the McDonald's M. There are four ways to factor out a quadratic. The first way is by graphing. When y equals x squared is positive, the U faces up. In the vertex, the lowest or highest point on the U is at its minimum. When y equals negative x squared, the vertex is at its maximum and the u faces down. When graphing, you'll find the x-intercept, where it crosses the x-axis, the y-intercept, where it crosses the y-axis, and the vertex. Let's take y equals negative x squared plus 9. Put that into your scientific calculator and press second graph to get the table. Search through the table until you see similar numbers. These are the numbers that we're going to use. The y-intercept is 0, 9, because that is the only point where it crosses the y-axis. The x-intercepts are negative 3, 0, and 3, 0, because those points are the only points that cross the x-axis. The vertex is 0, 9, the different middle number that you see on the table. By finding the vertex, you can also find the axis of symmetry. The axis of symmetry is the x-coordinate. So in this example, the axis of symmetry is 0. Since x squared is negative, the u faces down and the vertex is at its maximum. The next method is vertex form. This equation is y equals a, parentheses x minus h, and parentheses squared plus k. h is your x coordinate and k is your y coordinate. For example, y equals x squared plus 6x plus 5. You'll need to find your a, direction of your graph and location of vertex, your b, used to find vertex and axis of symmetry, and c, where your graph crosses the x, y axis. You just take the coefficient, it's quite simple. So y equals x squared plus 6x plus 5, a would equal 1, b would equal 6, and c would equal 5. Step 2, to find your x, you use x equals negative b over 2a. So you plug in 6 for b and 1 for a. So it would be x equals negative parentheses 6 over 2 parentheses 1. So you factor that out and you get negative 3. So x would equal negative 3. Next you find your x coordinate. So you plug in your x into your standard form equation. y equals x squared plus 6x plus 5. So you plug it in and it would be y equals in parentheses negative 3 squared plus 6 in parentheses negative 3 plus 5. And when it's all said and done, it's negative 4. Now that you have your x coordinate and your y coordinate, you plug it in. So y equals parentheses x minus in parentheses negative 3 in parentheses squared minus 4. And your final answer would be y equals in parentheses x plus 3 in parentheses minus 4 because that's the simplest you can go. The third method is the quadratic formula x equals negative b plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac over 2a. So for example x squared plus 3x minus 18 a would equal 1, b would equal 3, and c would equal negative 18. So you plug all that in, and x equals negative 3 plus or minus the square root of 3 squared minus 4 times 1 times 18 over 2 times 1. So x would equal negative 3 plus or minus the square root of 81 over 2. The square root of 81 is 9, so it would factor out to be x equals negative 3 plus or minus 9 over 2. With that, you make two equations. x equals negative 3 plus 9 over 2, and x equals negative 3 minus 9 over 2. With those two equations, you factor out for x, and you should get x equals 3 or negative 6. The last method is factoring. So let's do an example. a squared plus 15a equals negative 36. 
You want everything to equal out to zero, so a squared minus 15a plus 36 equals zero. You multiply a and c and find numbers that multiply together to get 36, but add to get negative 15. In this example, you would get negative 12 and negative 3. So you put parentheses a minus 12 in parentheses, and then a minus 3 equals 0. You put two equations, a minus 12 equals 0, or a minus 3 equals 0. And then you find out what a is. So a would equal 12, or a would equal 3. You would put that in an ordered pair, and you would get 12, 0, or 3, 0. So those are four ways to factor out a quadratic. Thanks for watching.